So it was a little bit more tricky choosing university courses because there's thousands available across the UK. So I was like, oh, crikey, how do I do that? What I did was I went to university open days and did a bit of research into the courses beforehand. But I found it was the open days and listening to subject lecture talks that really helped me to decide what I wanted to do. Talked to some people who did medicine. That tying in with the fact that I really like science, going on work experience again. Uh, I can think that's relevant really to any subject that you should always have a bit of a, an insight into it before you apply. Um, but that's, that worked for me. I applied for a few different courses, uh, didn't get the grades that I wanted, so I ended up going through UCAS Extra. Uh, so I got one extra choice and decided I wanted to go into education. So I actually found it quite a hard process deciding to do medicine. It wasn't just that I woke up and decided that's what I wanted to do. There's a lot of like pressure on people at that age to sort of have your path figured out. And you don't at that age. It's going to change a dozen times, two dozen times. You don't have to have it all figured out right now. I just couldn't figure out exactly like, where's this heading, you know? Because uh, I'd never studied computer science in school. And then when I started studying at university, it was just like that light bulb moment of, yes, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. But it's okay to sort of press pause and say, actually, what do I really want? Is this the right path? You're not committing to it for the rest of your life. You can make that decision to change if you need to, if you want to.